So, you know, going bigger picture, you know, those are just some of the examples of the 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 brands or the chains that have fallen victim to this very competitive environment. But let's look at each of these potential drivers, right? So, the short-term one that you just mentioned you're a little bit skeptical about is the warmer weather from this winter season. Uh, obviously, it's more of a one-time hit, and it might have been the straw that broke the camel's back. Exactly. But yeah, uh, and, and the thing is, it was not a you know a small headwind by any stretch. You know, Dick's management uh, uh, for Dick's Sporting Goods they manage, uh, they mentioned that cold weather related categories were down double digits this past winter. That so right. that yeah. is not going to help a company that's already struggling. Right. So moving on to like a bigger picture, longer term trend. You know, we a lot of people uh, will want to just point like point to an Amazon.com as a reason why these companies have been struggling, right? Uh, we know that e-commerce online retailers have made it tougher and forced a lot of retailers to adapt. But I, I think that's a pretty uh, obvious connection. But at the same time, like if you think about sporting goods in general that these companies are involved in, you know, the internet has really changed how people shop for specialty items. Like if you think about uh, just how in the past, think, you know, 30 years ago, you might go to one of these equi- these uh, stores, and the sales associates will be specialists, and they'll be the ones recommending to you, oh, your son should get this baseball glove, or your daughter should get this pair of soccer cleats. It's really popular this season, and they're the experts. But now, you know, everything's online. I think Amazon reviews or just all this the different- baseball glove got five stars. <laughs> just think about all the different, uh, you know, reviews on YouTube and on uh, different message boards, blogs around uh, these different. Different sports and hobbies, and you know those are the places we're getting a lot of expertise now. It's just changed where, you know, so 30 years ago you go to the sales associate for that kind of expertise. Now you go to a sports authority, and the only thing they might do for you is check if there's stock in the back. Mm-hmm. So it's just uh, an interesting change in the dynamic. And then uh, you know another thing is just increased competition from other retailers and the suppliers themselves. Uh, you know, so for a, a company like this, a sports authority for or City Sports, Nike might, for example, might be a huge supplier in terms mm-hmm. of retail and other equipment, and they have really important uh, relationships with these brick and mortar operations. But you know, Nike's expanded itself into direct to consumer sales. That's like a big growth, yeah, uh, point yeah, yeah, for yeah. them. So you know, Nike, just as a single example, is generating twenty three percent of their sales now from direct to consumer in fiscal twenty fifteen. So that's about six point six billion dollars, and that's up twenty five percent over the previous year, and that's just up, and that's up from just two point two billion dollars or thirteen percent of sales in two thousand nine. So in that what five six year time span, they have. Triple that number, and you know that's money that's coming out of the pockets of these other more you know these brick and mortar retailers. And Under Armour, uh, as another example, they're doing well above thirty percent of their sales direct to consumer. So here's another example uh, on that on even their own suppliers here who are kind of making the situation a little harder for them to compete in. And then you also have the you know, one of the you know the last things I want to talk about is specialization. So if you have these different niches within sporting goods, you know. At leisure wear, you might have premium wear, you go to Lululemon. But then if you want just something that's basic, cheaper, and you're you know on more of a budget, you might just go to a Walmart mm-hmm. or Target for yeah. what you need. So this is you know the environment for the retailers in the space is really difficult.